Joy, Heidi, do I feel sassy today or what? I'm gonna start with my mouth-watering, savory chicken and grilled potatoes, and then the first family of barbecue, the Neely family, is gonna show me the secret behind their grilled pork chops and collard greens. And how about a sweet dessert sandwich fresh off the grill? So fire it up, y'all, and get ready, because today it's all about grilling. Do you have days where your hair, you could just pull it out, it won't work for you? Well, look what I got, girls. I got me like a dead squirrel in the mail this morning. And I am loving it. I am feeling mighty, mighty feisty today. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by grilling chicken inside. You know, if we have some picky eaters come in, I can fix them right up with chicken. So I'm gonna start with a half a cup of lemon juice. Lemon juice is gonna really make that chicken kick. Kicking chicken, that sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> a half a cup of white vinegar, a half a cup of corn oil. All right, so we're gonna let this come to a bowl, and then I'm gonna throw in one and a half tablespoons of dry mustard. All right, there's one, and that's about a half. I'm gonna throw in a little dash of cayenne pepper, just enough to give it just a wee little bite. Now let's turn this on, and I'm gonna bring this to a bowl and let it cook for a little bit. And like I said, the tartness of that lemon and that vinegar is gonna be so good as it cooks into our chicken. One tablespoon of salt, and about a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. We're not gonna need a whole lot, cause remember, we just put in that cayenne. And that's got all of our ingredients. I'm just gonna let this come to a bowl. And this is what we're gonna swab down our chicken with. All right, now I've got my grills hot. So all we have to do is run down here in the refrigerator, get out our chicken, and I've already washed it. It's nice and clean. Now, you know, we've got so many nice seasonings uh, in our sauce, but I think I'm still gonna just toss it with a little salt, just a wee little bit. And let's go ahead and put it on our grill. I've sprayed this grill so they won't stick. You know, we just love chicken around our house. I knew I loved it, just didn't know how much I loved it. All right, I'm gonna come down here a second and give my hands a wash. When you're working with poultry, really wash your hands good in between. So. We've got our chicken on. Now we've got to have a nice starch to go along with our chicken, don't we? Well, in this pot, I have cooked some potatoes. I've used just a regular Idaho potato and I have cut them into three quarter of an inch slices and I cooked these for six minutes, just for six minutes, because we're gonna finish cooking them on the grill. So we're just gonna drain our potatoes. Get those out of our way. Boy, Heidi, that chicken is sizzling right along, isn't it? All right, so let's bring our potatoes over here. And let me look, <laughs> let me move my cup here, y'all. Uh, Kari, my niece, picked these up for me and I said, this is just about how fancy we get on the weekends around our house. Okay. So, let's see, I think I'm gonna get my house seasoning, my paintbrush, and some melted butter. And I'm just gonna take our potato pieces, and you can see they're not all the way cooked. We're gonna finish them on our grill. 
And I've sprayed this grill also, y'all, so they won't stick. So we're just gonna place those on the hot grill. But this is just a nice little change, y'all, from potato salad or just a baked potato. All right, so I'm just gonna take my paintbrush, y'all. Paint those with that butter. You know, sometimes it just gets so hot down here in Savannah, and the bugs get so bad that uh, sometimes I just find it easier to do my outdoor cooking indoors. All right, little house seasoning. My house seasoning is nothing but a cup of salt, a fourth of a cup of black pepper, and a fourth of a cup of garlic powder. And we'll let those grill and brown. Then we'll flip those over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna take out a different brush now because I don't wanna use the same brush on my chicken that I used on my potatoes. So let's come on over here and just start dousing our chicken with sauce. All right, so we got this meal well underway. Coming up, some friends are gonna stop by to show me some of the best grilled pork chops and collard greens in the South. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey, y'all, welcome back. I took our chicken and our potatoes off the grill, and we're just getting started here, y'all with our indoor outdoor cooking. And I promised you I wanted to introduce you to some of my dear friends, Pat and Gina Neely. Y'all come on in and meet everybody. Hello. Do I love oh, these folks or so what? Good to see you. Oh my Thanks precious for little us Pat. Back. Wow. This is Pat and this is Gina. Y'all, I met them actually through Jamie and Bobby. They came home and they said, Mama, we have met the best barbecue family in the South. <laughs> All right, well, y'all want to taste my chicken? You yes. You know I well, do. Come on over here and get y'all a bite. Paula, it looks so good. Looks, doesn't it look I good? I just can't wait. All right, y'all, dig in. Mmm. Delicious. It's good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So, what are y'all making for us today, Pat? We're going to do a dry seasoning. Mm -hmm. The uh -huh. Neely's dry seasoning. We're going to do a, a wet seasoning, which is Neely's barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna combine those together, Paula, and we're gonna make a fabulous barbecue pork chop. Wonderful. So with that it's gonna great go great chicken. with those potatoes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. Paula, okay. first thing we're gonna do is mm -hmm. our, our, our dry rub. Uh-huh. Gina's gonna help me. So the ingredients for the dry rub is one cup of paprika. One cup. In, one cup. Okay. Pour it in here. And then we're gonna put in Three and a half tablespoons of sugar. Okay. I got and it then in the a back, half sister. a teaspoonful of onion powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pour that in there. And then you blend mm -hmm. it all together. Now, this is your dry rub, right? Mm -hmm. Now, right. What, what do y'all do with that? This is sort of like our house seasoning. Mm -hmm. Like your Paula seasoning. We got mm -hmm. a Neely seasoning. Mm -hmm. We sprinkle this on all of our meats, mm -hmm. fish, you know, chicken. Really? Vegetables. Anything just to add a look. Wow. To it. Uh huh. It's a great seasoning, great grill seasoning. We're gonna do something real special with it on the pork chops. Honey, you got me. I'm a so, pork chop lover. <laughs> you and me both. Mm -hmm. So get on down there and get started, honey. Yes, ma'am. You know, Paula, I always Said do like boss. mama. <laughs> I do like mama tells me. I try to stay out of trouble, and it's worked for 15 years. Okay, Paula, mm -hmm. we have two cups of ketchup. Mm -hmm. That's the base. Mm-hmm. I take my brown sugar, mm -hmm. and I need six tablespoons of brown sugar. I like that brown sugar. And you know, don't make me lose my concentration. I'm gonna do five of the white. Mm -hmm. Down south, most recipes, they're gonna have a lot of this sweet. We like it sweet. Okay. Yeah. We like it sweet down now, here, too. Yes. one and a half teaspoons of paprika. Then we have ground mustard. Mm. I just love ground I noticed that you were using ground mm -hmm. mustard. It's just, mm -hmm. it has such a great flavor. Teaspoon and a half. Uh -huh. That's a great start. So I got a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. Mm -hmm. I love the black pepper in barbecue sauce. Oh, it, it makes really for does. a great barbecue yes. sauce. 
teaspoon and a half onion powder. And I just kind of mix that in. Mm -hmm. It gives me a good little mixture, okay? Mm -hmm. So now I'm ready. I come with two cups of ketchup. Okay. You need some help here. or you got it? Come on, sweetie, help daddy out. You know daddy like mama to be down here working with it. Mm -hmm. So I got my ketchup. And honey, if you just finish putting that in there. So we got the ketchup, and with two cups of ketchup, uh -huh. that means it'll be one cup of water. Thank you, sweetie. And then we got a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and then we'll go ahead and put our spices in. And then we, we stir it and we, we bring that to a bowl and we and once mm -hmm. we bring it to a bowl, we let it simmer for about an hour, hour and a half, let that barbecue okay. sauce cook. But we're gonna tone it down a little bit with this lemon. Mm -hmm. I just normally say take a half a lemon. Wakes up the Love flavor. lemon juice, okay. We've got a full teaspoon of um, corn, syrup. corn syrup. And Worcestershire sauce. And so while that's cooking, we got our dry rub. Yeah. Paula, honey, it is the ready to shot. do some indoor barbecuing. We're gonna season these pork chops with this seasoning. And, well, my uh, chicken and potatoes is out of this world, I'll I tell know, you. it is unbelievable. Okay, so typically <laughs> what we like to do is season the chops uh -huh. and then marinate them uh -huh. and let them sit for eight hours. Uh -huh. When you do that, it just, Paul, it makes all the difference, all the difference in the world in the, world. the next day. See, I'm, I'm, I'm the worker, that's the talker. <laughs> How many times he gonna season them verbally? Can we get some work done over here? <laughs> You know, it's the same way in my house, Girl, Gina. I know what these men are. We honey. get in the kitchen and Michael bosses me around. Mm, in the first place and at the table, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't tell you how to park them ships. <laughs> <laughs> don't come in here telling me how to cook my All pork right, chops. girl. Well, get them straight, Paula. You well, place them in this bag. I need uh -huh. to find something to keep me busy. Okay. You can go over there and now, get that sauce. We got it, but we got some already cooked because that's going to take a little hour or so. So then so we lay it here. I just want to. You like that, Paula? Isn't it good? Now, we're, we're putting the barbecue sauce in here. We're going to marinate. Ooh, so we're going to marinate on these chops, stick know, them in the cooler. Now, that is delicious, Gina. Isn't it gorgeous? I Listen to me, Dad. So these go in the cooler for eight hours, okay. if you can. Let me, I'll put those in the oh, cooler. I like it, sister. Yeah. We appreciate it, guys. I'm full now. So while y'all are washing your hands, I'll get out the other pork chops <laughs> that y'all have had marinating. We want to spray this grill just to, okay. just so it doesn't stick. All right. Then, now if we were cooking outside, uh -huh. I would probably go more to an indirect heat. Yeah. But based on we're indoors in your grill, that's yeah. an even temperature. Even and so heat we don't really through. have to worry about them. Rip it down. Wow. Those look good, they Pat. Look delicious. Coming up, Miss Gina says she makes the best collard greens ever. And then later, a dessert sandwich. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm in here in the kitchen with my friends, Pat and Gina Neely. They have a great restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee. These folks really know how to barbecue, y'all. So, is it time for us to taste that? I believe so, Paula. And you know what? They've turned out marvelous. Oh, they look, they look wonderful. great. I can see that y'all's dry rub, you know, really got into it good. Give it them a did. Red. Ooh, and they, they didn't. Wonderful. And you see how they, they, they oh. cooked? And so we're going to taste these, Paula. My goodness, look at those, y'all. Wow. Oh. How good do those look? Just Kinda right. Just, just right. right. Miss Gina. There you go, honey. Thank you, darling. And Paula. Here's yours. One for Paul. I just love these chops. Just oh, great. Oh, Pat. Aren't great. They great. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That you know, this, sweet sauce. Honey, this get your man at your the grill. Mm. There you go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now, ladies, mm -hmm. y'all preparing some great collard greens. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I love you both. We love you too. All righty. See you soon. Bye, darling. All right, All right. Miss Gina. So you tell me where you learned to cook your collard greens. Well, I tell you, growing up in the South, when I moved mm -hmm. out to California, there was no family. Mm -hmm. And I wanted some collard greens. I was like, oh mm -hmm. my God, I missed home cooking so bad. Yeah. So I called my grandmother and I said, can you please tell me how to make collard greens? 
So I'm gonna share a little secret with your sister. Because mm -hmm. it is so important that you have the proper seasoning for collard greens. Absolutely. I have yes. always use ham hocks. Me so for too. five bundles, you will need at least three smoked ham hocks. Mm -hmm. I put those on first, like you see here. Mm -hmm. Now see how they're mm -hmm. kind of cooking and getting tender yep. and breaking yep. up? But the trick to this is you don't let them cook too long by themselves in a separate pot. Yeah. You take your big pot that you're gonna put your greens okay. in. Okay. And you pour it in here. Here, let me take the tongs. Marvelous, team. I Marvelous. got your back. I got your back. Now, some people cook it with the stem on it. Really? I don't. Yes, really do. No, the stems are not good. No, they're not. You're taking the veins out of them a little differently than I do. Now, Grandma taught me to take that collard okay. and turn it uh, shiny side in. Uh -huh. And I kind of just press it a little bit. And then you just take it and you pull. And it releases that oh, stem. Yeah. Just I like that. Like that. I have to remember that little trick. That's a great idea. So tell us what else we're gonna do to your greens. Let's get us one cup of sugar. Pour that in there, in that nice boiling water. Okay. A half a cup of salt. Of salt? Yes, a half a cup. Trust me, it's okay. This is not how I make collard greens, Gina. Well, that's okay. You know what? It is okay. Yeah. It is okay. We're gonna learn new ways. There's many, many ways to do things. Now, I use three tablespoons of crushed red pepper. Three tablespoons? I like a little kick, you may not. So now, uh -huh. this is the sneaky part. You just take a little bit uh -huh. at a time. Now, one thing we do need to tell everybody, Gina, okay. that when you start out with your collards, it looks like a, a truckload. Oh, I know. But once they hit that water, y'all, they are gonna shrink. All right. Okay, there you go. So once you get them all in there, the next thing you do is just put the mm -hmm. lid on them, turn them down low to simmer. Okay. I let them greens. cook for at least two and a half to three hours. We don't have two and a half hours, y'all, for Gina's greens to cook, but we do have another pot. Woo! Let's do it. We got a pot that's ready, honey. Grab your plates and the forks, and let's show everybody what your collard greens look like. Oh, my God. They look fabulous. Let's see what they taste like. Okay. Oh, they smell. That's that crushed pepper. Out of this world, yes. Gina. Oops. Well, I want to get in there and get, get your me pizza. some. Yeah, I want to get some of that. Don't burn yourself. There we go. And then get you a little bit. Mmm. To collard greens. Ding. To collard greens and to Gina. Thank you. I told you. I told you. Gina! Are they too hot for you? Those are hot. You think so? Yes, but they're delicious. Well, listen, I need a little something to cool me down. So when we come back, how would y'all like a dessert cooked on the grill? To cool us down. Mm, mm. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm gonna finish up today's menu by preparing a grilled dessert sandwich with French bread hazelnut sauce, some marshmallows and bananas. All right, to put our sandwich together, we're gonna take the big marshmallow and we're gonna slice it in two. That way, it has a better chance of melting. Now, I've got that wonderful hazelnut spread, and I'm gonna take a little bit of it. Now, the secret here, we'll wanna be careful that we don't put too much of this sauce on our bread and make a big mess. So, on to one slice of bread go my marshmallows. All right, now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take our bananas. We're gonna cut them long ways, just like that. I'm gonna transfer this over to my other piece of bread. Now we're gonna put our sandwich together and we're gonna take our butter and we're gonna butter this just like we would if we were making a grilled cheese sandwich. So to the other side, more butter and into our skillet. 
So I'm gonna take our other one into our grill pan that goes, and it's not gonna take long at all. What we really wanna do is just kinda melt those marshmallows, but by flipping it, it's got our marshmallows down closest to the grill, so that'll work out real, real good. So I'm just gonna take these out. So we're gonna turn that pan off, cause it's got nice and smoky hot. All right, now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm just gonna cut our dessert sandwiches just like that. What? Well, I, I thought y'all were gone. Oh, no, here. I'm not gonna leave without getting no dessert. I'm wow. putting together a fabulous <sighs> dessert sandwich. It smells delicious. But Mama's not done yet. Let's oh. do something. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh. So a little powdered sugar. Mm, don't do it. A little whipping cream. Chocolate. Don't, oh. oh. Little chocolate sauce. One thing that you must always remember. What's that, Paula? When you're eating something that's good and rich, you always serve it with a vegetable. Well, let me bite into this. Get y'all some. Get you some. Get you some, girl. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Gosh, I had a good time with y'all. Y'all can't mm. stay away so long, oh dadgummit. And until next time, y'all, you know I always send you love and best dishes from my kitchen to yours. See y'all next time. Bye. Give me some of that, uh, kids. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>